there it is. <laughs> hey friends, <laughs> was watching my little circle spin and spin and spin. But here we are. It's time for Compline. I hope you've had a good day. And I hope that, sorry, I'm getting situated in my chair. I hope that you have enjoyed this really great weather. <laughs> Whoo, it was warm today. I did not want to take my walk for sure, but I did, most of it. So um, I'm glad you're joining us. And I see my dear friend Nobby is joining us. And I know a bunch of you others will. And there's the Wilsons. Hello, hello. Karen, yay, good to see you. All right, we'll give another pe couple of minutes for people to jump on because I know that some computer speeds are a little different. And to me, it's always so frustrating whenever the prayers have already started. I feel like I was late to the party. So we'll give it another couple of seconds. If you don't already, please have your Book of Common Prayer turned to page 127. And we will get started. All right, friends. I'm glad to see you. I really am. All right, my name is Tammy Wendell, and I am with the Episcopal Church of Our Savior here in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina. It's a pleasure to be with you, and tonight we'll be enjoying the Order of Compline, like I mentioned from our Book of Common Prayer, beginning on page 127. Let's go there now. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alrighty, friends, this evening I want us to enjoy Psalm 91, which starts right there at the bottom of page 129, if you want to go there now. Of course, we'll be saying this together. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, 
therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I'm turning over to the top of page 132. May the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is a blessing is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And now say with me our favorite prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne, and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night, as by day, your people may glorify your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm turning now to page 134. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those, both night and day, who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This is the time now where you get to join in and offer your prayers. I hope you have some wonderful prayers of thanksgiving. And if you do have lots of prayers of need or suffering, that's okay too. Lay those at God's feet. He's got this. This evening, I hope you'll continue with me in a prayer for peace, in a prayer for forward progression for our country, for all of our lives. We've been dealt a really hard blow these last few months, haven't we? And I hope we come out okay. And I have faith we will. Are there any other prayers you need to offer? All right, let's continue. Down at the bottom of page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep 
we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you, friends, for joining me again for another session of Compline. I do appreciate your participation. Hi, Gail. Good to see you there. I hope you'll join us tomorrow night right here on this Facebook page right at 830. We'd love to share another session with you. And if you want to, be sure to go to our website, ecus.org, and sign up for Sunday morning prayer there. All right, friends, until tomorrow night, you know I'll be in that computer with you. I hope you have a wonderful evening and a restful night. God bless. Bye-bye.